in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go from this environment to this environment in less than five minutes using the scattering tools from Polygon Flow inside Unreal Engine 5. The first step is to download and install the free trial of Polygon Flow's Graphen and install it so it's available inside Unreal Engine. When you see the Graphen logo inside Unreal Engine, you know it's been installed. The first thing we want to do is to scatter some leaves on the surface. We go to the Megascans website and find an atlas of leaves which we find suitable and download it. The next step is to import it into Unreal Engine and set up the material graphs. The next step we have to do is to cut out the leaves from the mesh and give them geometry. For this we will use the tool AlphaCat which is available in the Graphen Tools library. I only need to give AlphaCat the opacity map and the material for the leaves and it will do the rest, cutting out the leaves and giving them geometry. Now let's move on to the scene where I have imported two Megascans trees and some other Megascans assets. The first thing we have to do is to open up the tool Surface Scatter. All I need to do now is to give Surface Scatter the objects I want to scatter and the surface I want to scatter them on and then I will have parametric control of the scattering. To give the scene a more realistic look I want to mask out the leaves that are closest to the bottom of the trees because they wouldn't fall there. For this, Surface Scatter has a feature called Proximity Masking. I just have to give it the trees and the radius to mask out. Now let's add some more life to the scene by adding a fireplace and some path through the leaves. First I import this fireplace from the Megascans library with Quixel Bridge inside Unreal Engine 5. I've previously used the Graphen tool Surface Scatter to scatter the leaves in the scene and the feature Proximity Masking to mask out the leaves around the trees. And now I'm just applying the same Proximity Masking to the campfire. As I'm moving and adjusting the campfire, the Proximity Masking follows. Now I'm going to use the tool Radial Scatter, which I can find in the Graphen library inside Unreal Engine 5. I want to scatter these logs in a radius around the campfire. I first select the campfire as radial origin and then I select the logs as scatter meshes. Now I can play around with the settings in the radial scatter tool until I get the desired results like randomizing rotation, randomizing size, setting max and minimum size of the objects. When I'm satisfied with the campfire, I move on to create the path from the bench to the campfire. I've prepared two splines which I will use as a basis for creating the path. I give my radial scatter instance an appropriate name and collapse it. And then I go into the tools library to find path scatter. I start by giving the path scatter tool my two curves. Then I give it this Megascans rock as a scatter mesh. Just as with the radial scatter tool, I can play around with the different settings until I get the desired results. Once I'm happy with the results, I name my instance and I create a new path scatter instance to create a more forest trail feeling look to the path by adding a forest floor from the Megascans library and scattering it along the curve. When I'm happy with the results, I can add my path scatter instance to surface scatter in order to apply the proximity masking and removing the leaves from the trail. Having used the tools from the graph and library, I can now change the layout of the trail and the masking and the scatter will follow. Another nice touch is to have some moss grow over your rocks and let me show you how you can easily add that. I start out by finding some suitable moss in the Megascans library. 
And remember, Megascans atlases have to be downloaded separately and are not available in Bridge inside Unreal Engine. Once I've found the atlas I want to use, I can use the Graphen tool AlphaCat to cut out and create meshes of the Moss Atlas. I just have to set up my material, give it my atlas and it will create geometry and cut out the meshes for me. I change the pivot position from center to bottom to make it easier to spread around rocks and I also scale it appropriately to fit my scene. Now I'm finished creating the necessary geometry for the moss, I can go into the graph and tools library and search for the tool moss buildup. I want to scatter my moss on these rocks surrounding the trees. I have to tag them and I can just add the tag to the moss buildup tool. I give the moss buildup tool my moss meshes, in this case 48 objects. And now I can just play around with the parametric settings to get the desired results. Finishing up this scene I want to make it look like an abandoned campsite, so I'm going to add some trash into the scene. So first I go into Megascans and I've chosen this trash bag and this canister which I want to scatter on an uneven surface. I move the objects into my scene and I've uh, tagged them as garbage to make them easier to move. And I move them over to this uh, rock here, which I want to use as surface to scatter on. I position them over the rock and I don't have to worry about aligning them on the surface because that's where the tool will help me. I type in snap in the Graphen tools search library and I find the tool I need. The next step is to give the tool my projection meshes, which is the garbage and a projection surface, which is the rock beneath. Once I've done that, I just have to press play and the tool will automatically project the objects onto the surface. I wasn't quite happy with the placement of some of the objects, so I can move them and then just press play again to have them projected onto the surface. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please try Graphen for yourself.